What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the studio. Welcome back to the channel. So it's a good time to be a Spider-Man fan because Spider-Man, and we're not just talking about Peter Parker Spider-Man. We're talking about Gwen Stacy Spider-Man, Miles Morales Spider-Man, hell, Venom, Eddie Brock, and his son. It's just a good time to be a Spider-Man fan because we just got an announcement yesterday that Spider-Man 2099 is being played by Oscar Isaac again. And it's also got a release date. So instead of Spider-Man Enter the Spider-Verse, it's Spider-Man Cross the Spider-Verse Part 1. So there's going to be two parts, maybe three parts. I don't know. I didn't really look into that part. I was just so hyped to see Miles Morales fighting 2099 Spider-Man. And I've been waiting for them to really give 2099 his chance to shine. Because he he, does, he deserves a lot. Because he is probably one of the cooler Spider-Mans. I will put... And people might dislike me for this, but I will put him before Miles Morales. I will, it will go Peter Parker, Miles Morales. Because, you know, Peter Parker always got to be number one. I mean, he's he's the one that started it all. Then we got, you know, my boy, my Miguel O'Hara. Because 2099, who doesn't like to see the future superheroes? Like, Batman Beyond was dope. Um, the Justice League Beyond, if you read the comic books, that was, that was pretty dope, too. Just seeing what a future, what a hero looks like in the future is always interesting to me. From Batman to Spider-Man to, you know, just X-Men. And even though there was a comic line for the 2099 Marvel Universe, it didn't really do too well in the 90s. But out of all the heroes that did get a comic, Spider-Man stuck out the most. And that's why you get to see him more majority of the time than you do see other of the 2099 superheroes. But it's dope to see that. And I love how, the, you know, the teaser or the trailer started off. It picked up right after the end of Spider-Verse, where Gwen was saying, hey, Miles, what you doing? All that stuff. And he's grounded. And that was about it. So I'm thinking he's going across the, well, he is going across the multiverse because it's in the title, it's in its name. But let's go over some all the Spider-Man stuff that we'll be getting in the next two years. So, and we're in the month of December right now. And Far From Home is, no way, not Far From Home, No Way Home is coming out. And man, that is just a Spider-Man fans just wet dream. We're getting Electro, we're getting Doc Ock, we're getting Green Goblin, we're getting Sandman, we're getting the Lizard. We don't know who the sixth person is, the sixth um, villain part of the Sinister Six. So Sony can cool cool their jets with the whole you know Sinister Six movie because it won't make it makes no sense if Spider-Man's not there. So they can do it with Disney, and I don't know who the sixth villain is, but I'm taking a wild guess. It might be Vulture because, you know, Vulture has popped up countless times. Well, I wouldn't say countless times. He did pop up in the first movie because he was the main villain, Michael Keaton. And at the end, he met up with Scorpion. Now, Scorpion could be, you know, the other villain that, that was also on my list. Another one is Mysterio because I don't think Mysterio's dead. You know, he's a master of illusions. So I think he faked his death just to make Spider-Man look bad. Then also Eddie Brock is also in this universe with Venom. So I would like to see how the black suit is going to be implemented into the movies. Hopefully it is, because I would just like to see how the MCU does the black suit, just like how I want to see how the black suit looks. And my next topic that's coming up after this one. And it's pretty dope to see this. Like, honestly, I, I do think it's going to be Vulture or Scorpion. Those are my top two right there. But I just wanted to see the designs of like each character because like we got to see Electro and he's not blue anymore. Doc Ock, there's only so much you can really do with Doc Ock. You just, you know, his little uh, tentacles and all that stuff. And it's really not that hard to do with him. It's, it's good to see uh, Alfred Molina back as Doc Ock's amazing. Willem Dafoe back as Green Goblin. That's also amazing too. Uh, I would love to see his costume. But from what I've seen from Glimpse, of the trailer it seems like he got a hood on so he won't be wearing his iconic mask that he wore back in the first ever spider-man movie which uh, i mean i would like to see it be more like comic book iconic you know with the purple hat and all that stuff but hey whatever they give us hey i'm happy with it but that's gonna be epic that's supposed to be coming out this month and i'm looking forward to it and me and my friend had a good conversation about it yesterday you know, since this is kind of off topic off of Spider-Man, he was all like, what previews or trailers do you think they're going to show? I think Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness is going to be shown during this movie. Well, the, during the previews. Hopefully it is, because I think that's the next Marvel movie that's coming out. I don't know. They keep jumbling things up and things are being misplaced and all that stuff. So hopefully that we do get a trailer of that. Now, next, we are getting Spider-Man Cross the Multiverse. 
and that's the trailer that we just got yesterday because that comes out in 2022 and it comes out in October 22nd, 2022. And I don't know much, but I do know, hopefully, crossing fingers, that 2099 Spider-Man is the main character because it seems like that's what it is because at the end of Spider-Man's um, Into the Spider-Verse, you had, you know, Spider-Man, not, Sp not Spider-Man, but Spider-Man 2099. Talk about, all right, let's test things out real quick. He goes back in time. They got the whole, you know, point at each other. Everybody loves that meme. That meme is hilarious. Hopefully they do that in the Spider-Man movie, um, uh, No Way Home. And hopefully we get to a point to where we have all the Spider-Mans and they all can do that. That's a moment that I'm pretty sure everybody's looking forward to. But that's not much, there's not much I know about the movie right now. I think all I know is Oscar Isaac is coming back. And I'm looking forward to the villains. Because hopefully we get to see more of 2099 villains. Because I would love to see a Green Goblin 2099. I just I would love to see it. We got to see a Hobgoblin version, but that was in a video game, and they said they made that one up. That was just made for the game and the game only. So we don't know if it's really canon or not. But they should have made that canon. That was pretty dope. And then we got 2023. We got Spider Man PS4, no, Spider Man PS5 2 or Spider Man 2 for the PS5. Sony Spider Man. Y'all know what game I'm talking about. That was announced, comes out in 2023. They didn't give us a set month or date or time of year. We just know that the sake sequel is coming. 2023, Miles Morales is going to be playable. And also, you can also get Venom as well. He's going to be in the game. Well, it's going to be in the game because we don't know if he'll take over somebody. But nine times, 10 out of 10, Venom usually does take over. But I don't think it's going to be Eddie Brock. It's probably going to be Harry, and I'm not a big fan of that, but hey, it is what it is. Can't say much about it. Then we also got the news that Tom Holland's going to be playing Spider-Man for quite some time now. So, like I say, it's a good time to be a Spider-Man fan. If you're a huge Spider-Man fan, I know you're probably just running up the wall right now because, damn, we didn't even get a No, no Way Home's not even out yet. And we're already getting Spider-Man across the multiverse. That's going to be a good-ass movie. Now, if you're not a big fan of live-action movies and you're more into animated movies, then you get to take this is this is your day to eat y'all eating good today if you're not a lot if you're not into the animated and you like the live action then you're gonna be eating good next week because the movie's coming out soon and if you just love spider-man all together and don't care how you get your da daily dose of spider-man and this is your way of getting it then hey by all means i'm thumbs up to you as well but that's all i got for y'all i'm very happy to see this um the multiverse i mean not the multiverse but the marvel universe as a whole right now it has its ups and downs, honestly. I'm not going to sit here and say that everything is good because not everything's going to be good. Not everything's going to be great. You know, some things going to be mid and some things going to be all like, uh. But, you know, they they trying their best to, you know, I guess appeal to everybody how it was comes off to me because you know you got your characters that are you know representation for the latinos and you know shang chi was for like for the asians you know black panthers for like the african americans and africans you know sooner or later we're going to get a latino superhero uh miss marvel she's you know uh, i think she's arabic i think she is arabic um kamala khan yeah i think yeah she is arabic and all that other stuff so i do like that's the that's a beautiful thing about comic books that people fail to realize. Everybody's worried about oh why you make a certain hero gay and da 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 da. da. It's like their gender and their their gender or their sexual orientation or what they want to be called and all that stuff really doesn't make the hero. What makes the hero is the how they act as a hero. Are they doing heroic deeds? What makes their character who they are? Yeah, you could like it. Yeah, you can be gay and all that stuff, but that's cool and all. But I'm like. Is that all you got? There's got to be more to your character than just, oh, I'm gay. Like, nah, there's got to be more to the character. And that's that's one of the beautiful things we like about Spider-Man, because there's so much about Spider-Man that we love about him. It's just not, oh, he has powers of a spider. He has these jokes. He has these quips. He's, he's smart. He's all these things. He's a relatable character to a lot of people, just like how Kamala Khan could be, you know, a relatable character or... Um, Alan Scott, you know, the first Green Lantern, he's homosexual, you know, he, people can relate to him. So each hero, you can relate to somebody. So, you know, MCU is trying to do that. And I think DC is trying to do the same thing as well. So I give them their props that they're really trying new things out and with the animated and live action movies, too, as well. So hopefully with these live action movies doing how they're doing and how the animated movies are are doing so well, hopefully we can get more live action and well, not live action, but animated movies as well. 
So we'll just have to sit back and wait and see. But other than that, guys, that's all I got for y'all. I know I ain't made no videos in a while. I'm still working on these best, my, my, my top five games of 2020, 2021, my bad, and so on and so forth. So, But other than that, guys, I love y'all. Take care of yourselves. Um, also, also, I will go back to streaming on Sundays. Not today because I'm a little bit busy. But after the, I think, the 12th, my next stream will probably be that Monday, so the 13th. But I'm going back to streaming on Sundays. But other than that, guys, I love y'all. Take care of yourselves. Peace.